Here we're asked to graph this linear equation by plotting points. Now before I do that, what I'm going to try to do here is solve for y. That's going to make creating that chart a little easier. So first subtract 5x, then divide by negative 3. And remember, when you divide a binomial by a number, you have to divide both of those terms. So negative 5x divided by negative 3, and 15 divided by negative 3. Okay, simplifying, that just gives me y equals 5 thirds x uh, minus 5. Okay, so this is the equivalent equation that I'm going to use to fill in my chart. Now when I make my chart of values, we are plotting points here, I get to choose any x values I want. Notice y depends on what x is. x is the independent variable. Since the denominator here is a 3, I'm going to choose multiples of 3 just to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm starting here with negative 3, 0, 3, 6, and 9. Okay, so there's five x values I chose sort of at random. Okay, so now let's plug in the values. When Notice I'm plugging them in here for x. When you substitute in negative 3, those 3's will cancel. I'll have negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. Okay, certainly when you substitute in 0, 5 thirds times 0 is 0, so that leaves me with negative 5. Uh, when you substitute in 3, those 3's will cancel. That's why I chose multiples of 3. Leave me with 5 minus 5, which is 0. Okay, that'll be my x-intercept. When I substitute in 6, 3 goes into 6 twice. 5 times 2 is 10 minus 5. That leaves me with a 5. Okay, and if there's any kind of pattern here, the next one should be um, positive 10. Plugging in 9. Uh, 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 times 5 is 15, minus 5 is certainly 10. Okay, so here's five ordered pairs in which I'll go ahead and plot right now. Okay, so let's get some space. And this here will be my x-axis, just a number line. And there's my y-axis. Okay, so let's choose a good scale. It looks like we should go by threes on the x-axis. So there's my minus three. Six, nine, twelve, you know, fifteen. And on the y-axis, I'm going to choose a scale and go by fives. Okay, here's the minus five. All right, so here's my blank Cartesian coordinate system. Now let's go ahead and graph the points. Negative 3, 10 is right about there. I'm sorry. That didn't look right, did it? So let's say negative 3, negative 10. You know, that's down here. Uh, 0, negative 5. That's my y-intercept. 3, 0. X-intercept there. 6 comma 5 and 9 comma 10. Looks like I erased my 1 on the 10 there. Okay, and then use a straight edge if you can. Connect the dots and that's the graph of the line here by plotting points. Okay, this is the line 5x minus 3y equals 15.